Hello everyone and welcome to a new short episode from the Speculative Wildlife Research Center, where we reimagine creatures and monsters from all realms of fiction through the lens of speculative biology. Today we will be looking at the Yakulus, a small, dragon-like creature from Greek and medieval legends, famous for jumping off trees and impaling whoever was passing by like a living scaly javelin. This one was suggested by commenter Elthwar, who I'd like to thank for this suggestion. Also, if you are enjoying these videos, please consider supporting the channel on Ko-fi, link available in the video's description. And, as always, I will be giving some design and biology notes at the end, so please stay if that is something that interests you. Now, let's get with it. Along the rocks and trees of northern Greece live an amazing diversity of reptiles and lizards, but none as astounding as the one named Jaculacerta capuspica, also known by its Latin name Jaculus or the more modern spear lizard. The Latin name of this creature means throne, and in a few moments the reason why will be quite clear. Half a meter long, the Yaculus is a lizard that has adapted to an amazing hunting style. A few of its ribs have grown outwards and developed a layer of skin in a manner similar to that of Draco lizards, but in the Yaculus, these wing-like structures also envelop the arms of the lizard, which help it move its patagia. While these arms are still useful for walking, the Yaculus can no longer use them to climb. Instead, it will climb trees by using its strong hind legs and muscular tail. Once a Yaculus has found itself a nice, cozy spot on a tree, it will scan its surroundings for prey, usually birds and small mammals or reptiles. When hunting, the Yaculus will measure well the distance that separates it from its prey and launch itself with the strength and precision of a javelin. It will glide on its pseudo wings using its arms to make little adjustments as it does, in order to stay on target. Unlike other reptiles, the Yaculus does not kill through a venomous bite, or any kind of bite whatsoever. Instead, it kills its prey by ramming it with a hard spike on its head. This spike is pointy enough that it will heavily injure or even impale smaller prey which the Yaculus will then eat without resistance. Rigid bone growths along its neck prevent this lizard from turning its head as it hits its target, protecting it from damage. Even bigger creatures are not safe from the attack of this lizard, as its sharp point can penetrate the skin of animals as big as cows, even on occasion causing lethal injuries to human beings. However, it is likely that these cases were mere accidents, probably caused when the injured party got on the way as the Jaculus was hunting. A human being, even a young one, would be too big for a Jaculus to even consider hunting on purpose. And that's it for a speculative biology look into the Jaculus. This one I didn't even know before researching the suggestion, which, yes, is what I do for all their suggestions, but once I laid eyes on it, I was just fascinated with this little guy. The idea of living creatures that resemble human weaponry is one that I am really fascinated by, and I loved seeing it expressed in such a fun way. A lizard that jumps from trees to impel prey is, really, not such a wild idea. And just by hearing from it, you can almost imagine such a creature living somewhere out there in our world. With this one, I decided to keep it simple, basing it as much as I could on ancient depictions of the creature, which included two wings and two legs, despite it often being called a snake. That was enough to paint a good picture of this creature as a draco, also known as flying or gliding lizards but much more adapted and having lost the use of their arms. I hope you guys enjoyed this short episode, and remember, if there's any type of creature you'd like me to give the speculative biology treatment in the show, please sound off in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time on the Speculative Wildlife Research Center.